I actually had an incident third day in basic training. We hadn't got our uniforms yet. I still had my long hair and I hadn't shaved. I mean, everyone was in civvy still. They were still giving us the run around. And I was walking, one of the, um, one of the PTRs came up to me in Afrikaans and, and screamed at me, why haven't you shaved? And I was fluent from, from Rand Afrikaans University, but I didn't speak to him in Afrikaans, I refused. I said, <laughs> uh, I haven't shaved because we're not in uniform yet. He said, and yeah, yes, a fucking you it. Oh, wow. I know for a fact there's two things that you can't do, and one is religion, and one is politics. They can't mention those things. I knew the laws, hmm. so I hit him. I Whoa! Mean, I, I hit Jesus. him, and he's a senior officer, but he's a PTI. Wow. Two guys were standing with him who were PTIs, and they ran at me, and and they stood up, and I jumped back, and they said to me, "Do you want to press charges?" To me, wow. I, said, I said to them both, I said, from today on, I want you to know one thing. I said, forget what just happened. I said, do whatever the fuck you want to me. I said, but don't talk about my religion to me ever again. And you tell everybody in this camp, I'm here, wow. I serve just like you are. For me, ego is a projection of an image you want people to think you are when you haven't earned it. That's my analogy of what ego is. It's a belief that you are something you aren't because of an insecurity. And I believe, especially in New York, this industry is so driven by ego uh, that I think it hurts people. So humility, ego, and I definitely believe in what you have to offer the world um, in authenticity. So what is our purpose in life? You know, as a parent, your purpose is to have healthy children that are happy. Um, when you're given a situation where your child is in the wrong body, uh, you question everything for a while. Uh, you research, you look it up, and you figure out that I don't care what it is. Uh, how can I help my child be happy? Um, and for me, the fact that my daughter at 13 was no longer going to be my daughter was a very, very difficult thing for me. She was my she was my little princess, you know. And and when she first said to me, "Dad, do you ever feel like you're in the wrong body?" about two years ago. I said, what are you talking about? You know, and I, I ignored it and we went, but my, my point here is that in boot camp, we used to scream at people and tell them that they were losers if they can't do push-ups. I've evolved to a point now that I don't do that. I'm, I'm of a nurturing type now where I tell people, let me hold your hand and show you, you can do push-ups. Mm. So the delivery has changed in, in a maturing way that I don't believe breaking down people to show them they can be better is necessarily great in a civilian world. In the military, you have to because you have to command that respect and belief. But it did work for 